Oh no, anxiety creeps up on me. Is this how it's supposed to feel? Tell me when it's over. I got someplace that I gotta be. It won't leave. My friends, hey, get out of your comfort zone. It's a blessing in disguise. Get out of what you call home. Your name is written in the sky. It might feel just like you're on your own. But baby, it's another lie. Remember you So hello, welcome back to another video. I am on Dartmoor uh, in Morton Hampstead's where I started. I'm doing Dockham Hill and this one here that I've just come up, that is... Uh, This one here that I've just come up, that's uh, Pepperdown Hall Lane, which is X4 or something on the X list. I'm not actually at the top yet, I've got to keep going, but with that view, you've got to stop and have a look at that view. Today, I don't know how far I'm going, about 50 to 60k. I've got Dockham Hill, this, uh, this lane here. Yeah, despite just checking what it was called, I'd forgotten it again. Pepperdown Hall Lane. I won't forget the climb though, it was steep, mucky with some great views, and it's a great addition to the X list. It's 1.6 kilometres long with an average of 10% and a maximum of 20%. And Haytor, and we're going along the bike path through the valley to Bovey Tracy. So, at least the sun's out and it's not too cold. <laughs> Let's get on with it. Clones go. I love this one. Road surface is a bit dodgy. It's probably a summer climb, but look at that there. <laughs> Great views of Dartmoor. Now just the six miles to Dock Mill. Anybody missing a glove? Is that yours, Julie? Yeah, I don't know if you saw that this week, but Julie, we uh, <laughs> lost her gloves on a railway bridge. <laughs> it's quite funny. And if you haven't caught the Wheelers at Large uh, videos yet, I'll put a link down in the description so you can catch up with their channel as well. Having driven up it, my sat nav called it Six Mile Hill, but Vela Viewer has it at 4.8 kilometres long. It's a beautiful climb, averaging just 4% and has a maximum gradient of 12% but there is a descent just before Morton Hampstead and a 20% ramp up into the town but it starts here at this pretty bridge and goes up there into the woods Right, so I'm my way over to the Bovey Trail. This goes all the way to Bovey Tracy. Let's see if I can stop and have a coffee in Lusley. So that's Morton Hampstead just up on the hill. And it's a nice gravel little path. And yes, it is good for road bikes. I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day. I'm trying to make this darkness go away. Sound of people talking, the wind 
flowing in the trees. Oh, I will open up my eyes so I can see the light. Oh, and I'll try to spread my wings so I can fly. Oh, and the darkness starts to fade. Feels like things are gonna go my way. Hey, this is very limbo. <laughs> This trail is amazing. Uh, I'm nearly in Bovey Tracy, right at the bottom of Haytor Vale, and uh, I might have a coffee there. There was nowhere in Lustley, really. It just looked a little bit bland. So, uh, onwards and upwards. Right, so that was a very good bit of coffee and cake. Nicely refreshed. I've binned off Haytor Vale. Time is running a bit. I'm running out of time. So I'm gonna just head on back up the trail, back to Morton Hampstead in the car. And I think we're gonna, I think I'm gonna do Stoke Hill on the way home instead. So I can just park, drop down, come back up. It's a shorter climb. And still tick off three in one ride. Well, one ride and a bit. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not going that way. <laughs> that looks a bit steep. Back in Morton Hampstead, I'm going to jump in the car, off to Exeter to find Stoke Hill, and then we'll do one more hill climb before we uh, call an end to the day. So just like that, I'm now in Exeter. I'm at the top of Stoke Hill. I'm going to go all the way down the bottom and the 2K back up. And we're going to tick off another one of these climbs. It's five o'clock though. <laughs> it's fresh hour in Exeter. It's probably not the best idea. <laughs> Let's get another one done. This climb is on the outskirts of the city and averages 6% with a maximum of 15%. It's surprisingly quiet and enjoyable. I give you... Stoke Hill. This is really odd because right at the top of the hill is practically Exeter and then I've just come down into what is the country. Incredible. Anyway, let's show you what this climb is all about. Me wonder, work wonder. How come the trees get untrust when it's cold? Yes, that was a nice climb. It's a busy road just before the top of the climb. You can hear all the cars going past. But after that, there's no cars. It's just an incredibly weavy road, lots of switchbacks through the woods, all the way down to the out outskirts of Exeter. But literally, 50 yards that way is a university and all residential area part of Exeter. So, <laughs> strange, strange find. Well done, Simon Warren. But that is another three ticked off today. Incredible rides, all three climbs are incredible, the Bovey Trail is incredible and uh, I've really really enjoyed today. Uh, so I don't know when I'm going to be back, I don't know where I'm going at the weekend, but I will be out next weekend, see you next Sunday, um, for another ride, who knows where, probably involved climbing, um, it's supposed to rain as well so God only knows what we're going to do. 
Yeah, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you very, very soon.